trying to say is I ain't gonna change Oh no, cause being someone else is too damn hard And I don't want you to change Oh no, cause I dig you just the way you are And guys what's up so today I would I don't want this video to be too drawn out I don't want it to be too long or whatever I really just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I get my edges of my wigs to look like really natural like it's all mine I know sometimes I might show little bits and pieces in my tutorials of other stuff how to do it but I've never really done a detailed tutorial on it and so I really felt the need to do so today so if you're wondering guys, this is actually the very same wig I've rocked in my previous videos. This is the um, lace wig and it's a natural curly Indian Remy um, hair texture from rpghair.com. So as you guys can see, I know you're saying but this doesn't look the same. That's because I went ahead and I wanted it not too long ago and this is what I'm working with. It's not, I, I just drag it onto my head. There's nothing done to it. It's not, I didn't really um secure it onto my head properly as yet so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of just slip back the hair i'm gonna go ahead and slip back the hair and i'm gonna work on my edges so the number one product that i've been using since lately to lay my edges when it comes on only when it comes on to applying my wigs and laying my edges is my um, got to be ultra glued invisible um, styling gel and this is how it looks it comes in this black thing I've had this for a couple months now so I think it's pr that's pretty cool I got it here in Jamaica at my at the at a local beauty supply store by the name of discount beauty you guys know i've mentioned that um store name um a lot of times that's where i get a lot of my um my hair products and stuff the next tool i make sure to have is my rat tail comb and you can't forget your handy dandy toothbrush all right you can have a regular small brush but i just love my toothbrush to just help things to be a little bit more snap <laughs> so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just kind of you know make sure that the hair is not gonna fall forward while I apply the gel so I'm gonna take my section clip two section clips to kind of pull everything back my braids are a mess right now I need to get them done I plan on doing so over the weekend <laughs> what I usually do is just open this up and I squeeze a little bit out take the end of the comb take up some of the product and kind of just use it to slip back my natural edges because I don't really want any of that I don't want any of that out now what this does is it it acts as an adhesive for the lace here in the front and it's it's trust me guys this has a very like an extreme hold to it this does not it will not rip your hair out once you remove it the proper way this is gel it's not glue okay so um what you need to do when you're ready to remove this is just damp just kind of tap the the area with water and it peel right off it's very simple guys super super simple now that i'm done with that what i'm gonna move on to do is just allow the edge the area that i applied the gel to to just kind of get tacky you could use a blow dryer to speed up the process i'm going to go ahead and bring the hair the wig forward and then now i'm going to secure the combs that are on the inside to into my braids if you notice i know a lot of people will ask what color is the lace it's a light brown i did not bleach this or anything this is exactly how i received it from rpghair.com all right so what i usually do is i use the tail end of the comb to secure it just press it down on my skin the next step is to basically proceed to i don't know shaping and forming out your edges in the way that you want now personally i like when my edges are snatched but not to the point where they look like super uniform i don't like the super uniform look so 
I'm going to, it's kind of easier to watch than, you know, for me to explain it. So I'm going to go in with my toothbrush now and I'm going to get a little bit more of the got to be gel, just a tiny bit. And the little hair is at the front here. I'm just going to kind of pull them out. Now I'm going to move on to just using my toothbrush, my toothbrush to shape it to my liking. And I just love how convenient this is because it can still appear as if it's my natural hair. And you know, all of my hair is really braided. Now, I know that some people don't necessarily love this, the super um, uniform like edges. That's totally fine. Sometimes, so what I'll do, some I just, I kind of brush back, some I pull forward, and I kind of just swoop the areas that I pull forward, you know, with the toothbrush. And even if you don't get this on the first try, guys, trust me, just keep on trying. I didn't get it on the first try. What I find very convenient is that I didn't really have to go in and tint or bleach this um, the lace because RPG here had my back. All right, so like you cannot see where the lace is at all. So what I proceed to do, I get my little handy dandy hair tie. You know, I use a scarf, and this is what I use to further lay. This is a very important step. And let me tell you something, I deliberately apply my wig and do my edges before doing my makeup because it just, the time there, the time that it gets to lay, I find it to just help everything to look a little bit more snatched as opposed to if I was supposed to go ahead and apply my makeup first and then do it. It would kind of mess up the makeup and I wouldn't want that. So I prefer to do all of this then the makeup and that's just, I just love the look of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my scarf and do my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm done, I'm all done with my makeup. I went ahead and removed the head tie as you can see and that is pretty much it. And this is how it looks. I love, I just love using the got to be gel. It's the number one reason why my edges are laid my wig edges are laid the way they are yeah so i'll see you guys in my next upload bye